Hello and welcome. It's another beautiful day. Today is actually on the cooler side. I went to Home Depot yesterday and bought a bunch of uh, just some wood, and um, I couldn't start my project because it was so hot and humid yesterday. It was in the 90s and very humid. Thankfully today there's overcast, so I figured I will start the project today. And I think I do have to complete it today, only because I think it's raining tomorrow. So here I am outside, just taking a look at my succulents, and I'm gonna show you guys um, how I'm gonna make more space out here. So I don't know if you remember, but I mentioned last time I have a bunch of succulents inside that I would like to bring out for the fall, because as much as grow lights do help, Inside is not ideal environment for my succulents, at least that's what I think. Um, if I had better weather and a lot more space, I would bring them all outside, but I um, don't have any space, so I have to make space. So I will show you guys what I'm gonna do. Now, this summer, I actually did pretty well out here. As you can see in the background, you see those black shade cloth and the white shade cloth above. I have two shade cloths going out here because it gets so hot and it was so hot this summer. I think we had like so many heat waves and so many days with like above 90 degrees and when the sun beats down on my plant shelf, um, I would go over 100 degrees um, easily. And that started since June. So um, yeah, so I had to put double shade cloth. I usually um, use these black ones, but I purchased this white one because I heard that they're better at reflecting the sunlight um, and reducing the heat. So I do think that it actually helped a lot and me using double. So the white one is 50% and the black shade cloth is 30%. So together it's 80%. And believe me, during the, the height of the, um, during mid midday, uh, it does get really hot out here. Today is nice and cool and breezy. So I don't have my outdoor fan and you'll see, I, uh, I have my outdoor fan up, um, standing right in front of the succulents, rotating. Okay. So when it hits of over 90 degrees, I have been turning on my outdoor fan. It has been my saving grace. Um, I think that's why, that's the only reason why I didn't lose so many succulents this summer. And also because I realized last summer I should not water in the afternoon. So I've read and heard that um, if you're going to water your succulents during the summer, that you should do it at nighttime or really early in the morning. Um, I would go, I learned the hard way that watering them early in the morning is the answer and not late um, at nighttime because at nighttime here in New York, at least in my environment, um, it gets really humid and the humidity will go up easily to like almost 90% overnight. So the water, if you water the succulent overnight, it doesn't have a chance to evaporate fast enough or that's what I'm guessing that the issue is it just doesn't like it just sits in the uh, the, the wet soil overnight um, and I think that's what killed a lot of my succulents last year so I learned not to do that this summer and um, so far so good I mean okay so enough chit chat I'm gonna move over to the side of my yard and show you guys where I'm gonna build my new shelves if you want to call it so I had mentioned, as I was mentioning before, there is an overcast today, thankfully. I think the temperatures are only going up to about um, high 70s today, and it's cloudy, so I think I can manage to do some work out here. So this is my um, L-shaped sort of planter that I built last summer to sort of hide my, uh, what is that? And <laughs> to hide my generator. Um, so initially I had some like plants here, which I, I think initially I bought enough plants to fit in the whole L-shaped planter, but some of them died because um, apparently I could only focus on my succulents and it's really hard for me to focus on other, <laughs> other plants. Uh, indoor plants are fine, but outdoors, I've never grown boxwoods and whatever other things that I had bought at the time, I can't even remember. Um, I've never grew them in pots. And the ones in the ground, obviously, like I don't really pay attention to any of them because they do just fine on their own. But um, so I have three left from what I had in the whole planter. So I squished them over to the to the right side, and now I'm going to build something over here 
to so that I can put my succulents on it. But anyhow, so I'm gonna build some sort of structure, very simple, just like some some wooden slats going this way and just poles, and then I'm gonna have like a cover go um, on top so that um, my succulents don't get rained on. In New York, we get rain quite often. Um, obviously, this summer we had a ton of rain, ton of th thunderstorms, but um, yeah, we will. Uh, we normally get rain at least once a week, if not once every 10 days or so. I think we're lucky if we don't get any rain in, a, in like uh, a string of sunny days, five, six days in a row, I feel like. But anyhow, um, the sun's peeking in and out today. Hopefully I can just work in the shade and I'm gonna... Uh, don't have any work table and whatnot, so I'm probably gonna have to do most of my work on the floor, which is not that comfortable, but, but we'll see how the, uh, the recording will go. So, stay tuned! Okay, it's done and this is my makeshift shelf for my succulents. I'll have you know, extremely tired. I try to take breaks in between, but uh, that's why it took so long. <laughs> but um, my back is killing me right now. This is why I do not recommend building anything on the floor. Squatting is really hard. <sighs> I know that, but I was just too lazy to bring a table from the basement. I should really keep a folding table in my shed, but I don't have any space in there right now. But anyhow, uh, this is what you get for being lazy. But at least my shelf is done. Paint is not completely dry, but I put the polycarbonate uh, roofing on top because there's a chance of rain tomorrow, so I don't want this to get wet. So this is what it looks like. It's a very simple sort of shelf that's sitting on top of my planter over here, planter box. That I just kind of outfit it into. I was contemplating whether I should stain it the same color, but I decided to just go with white and spray paint. Um, I hate the smell of spray paint, but I just feel like it's easier. Hopefully, I did two coats, 
so hopefully it should be fine um, I, I think I did the same for the other plant uh, stand and that's working fine for me so I think it'll be fine um, and I think this is it so I'm gonna let it sit here let the paint dry and probably sometime in September is when the other succulents will come out uh, one by one, little by little, well not one by one, but little by little. So these, the width of this area is 16 inches, so I should be able to, I think I should be able to fit maybe like four, four rows of succulents. And then this is about 80 inches long, so hopefully I'll be able to fit a good amount of succulents out here. And I will give you guys an update when they come out here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye now.